In this video, I'm going to talk about why you have to run your personal economy like a military operation. One of the things that you have to do is have a tactical plan for your economy. Currently, we have many people out here who are just trying to build multiple streams of income, make money, just do certain things. But there is no tactical plan. There is no cohesive marketing selling plan. One of the things is with the military, they have a plan of attack. They have a strategy. And this is one of the things that you have to do with your personal economy. Let's take Apple. Apple has $200 billion cash in the bank and they just borrowed $8 billion more. Apple is in the position to run and deploy aspects of their own economy. Make no mistake about it. You cannot have your own economy if you don't have cash in the bank. Right now, there are many people with really high credit scores and they have $100,000, $150,000 lines of credit. These people are very, very vulnerable because one of the things that's going to happen, and this happened to a client of mine, good credit, never missed a payment. American Express shut down literally half of his credit cards because he, he was just stacking and stacking and stacking and he wasn't using these credit cards. So some of these credit cards he hasn't used in two years. And it was the reason they just shut half of his credit down hundred thousand dollars gone like that. So for you to be trying to run your economy on credit in the current economic climate is very, very dangerous. It is not recommended. This is why you need cash. This is why I've been on this cash tip. This is why on Savage Finance, I talk about you need to have cash. The worse the economy is, the more important cash becomes. Understand when you have cash, you are king. Like, you know, credit is good, but cash and cash flow is the bullets for your weapons of war. And if you don't have any cash or cash flow, cash flow, you're not able to participate in the war. You are like a prisoner of war. So one of the first things you need to do is to get a handle on how you handle your money. One of the things that you need to understand is you cannot live at the top of your income, whether you're an individual or a business owner. And for my business owners who are making these, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, hundred K a month for you to be making a hundred K a month. And for you to be spending a hundred K a month, that's not on investments. That is one of the worst things you can do because at some point it's going to stop at some point. It may be many years in the future, but at some point it's going to stop. Like the year that I did so well with my book, I was like just scared. I was like, when is this going to stop? Because I knew it was going to stop and I did not adjust my spending because I knew it was going to stop. And this is one of the things you've got to do from a tactical standpoint is even if you're making more money, you don't adjust your spending to claim that money. This is why I've been doing some research upon the social economic classes. Rich people have stopped spending money. Poor people are spending money like they were before the pandemic socialization, wartime tactics, the rich people like, Hey, you know, the economy is slowing down. They're slowed down or stopped and they have money in the bank. They have assets and they've stopped spending money because they're participating in the economic war. They're making military type moves. It's like, okay, well, the business is down 30%, but we're going to slow our spending down because we don't want to burn through our reserves. Whereas the people who are poor, they just spending like crackheads. Soon as the stimulus check hit people's hands, they were like, Hey, 
I got money. Party over here, party over there, party over here. P cookies, punch, cake, and ponies. And there is no nod to the future. There is no thought of consideration of the future. And this is one of the things you have to do in war. When you're fighting, you have to look at your supply chain. You have to look at, will we be able to get our bullets to the front line? Will we be able to get food for the troops to the front line? All of this stuff comes into your military tactics. So from a personal finance standpoint, you've got to ask yourself, how's our money looking? And you've got to be practical with it. You've got to be 100% genuine with it. But so many people are not making military moves. They're just spending money. They're, being, they're acting like civilians. And right now, with the number of people who are watching these stimulus check videos, I didn't understand it because my socialization is very different. I don't look to the government for help. I'm not looking for someone to bail me out. I, I pretty much take that burden upon myself. So I did not understand America. I did not understand how many people who were desperately looking for these stimulus checks, who were desperately looking for the government bailout and the rationale that, hey, like I said, I broke it down before you in the games of war. The people who are contributing to these Congress people's campaigns funds are the people that they look out for. And this is corporate America. Corporate America got trillions. You got 3.5 billion. No, 350 billion, I think, or 500 billion. I don't know. But you, America, did not get as much money as corporate America. Why? Because corporate America is participating in military tactics. We're going to give the Republican Party X amount of dollars, and we're gonna give the Democratic Party X amount of dollars. They're playing both sides of the table from a military tactical perspective because if the Democrats come in power, we, get, we gave them money. If the Republicans come in power, we gave them money. This is how they're hedging their bets. And you, America, refuse to pay for your politicians from a military tactical standpoint. It's like, ah, I'm not, I'm not even voting. I'm not even going to pay. Nah, I'm not doing any of that. Nah, nah, don't, that don't mean nothing to me. And you're, you're not playing the game because for you to win the game, you got to play the game. And most of America's not playing the game. They're not participating in these military maneuvers. And one of the best things you can do from a military standpoint is to create your own economy. Because when you create your own economy, you're creating your own bullets. You're creating your own bombs. Each dollar bill is a bullet. Each rack is a bomb. So the more bullets and bombs you have, the more you can participate into the military exercises. But if you don't have no cash, you can't play. Right now, I happened upon this forum where people were freaking out. All these folks who had got multiple credit cards and got all of this funding. And now they're like, oh man, Chase cut me off. American Express cut me off. Bank of America cut me off. See, understand, the Great Recession taught banks a lot. And banks have gotten way ahead of the curve. Because last time they took a lot of heavy losses. They took heavy casualties. This time they're like, we ain't doing that. So if you are someone with no cash and tomorrow I'm going to have a video breaking down why it's better to have cash than an 850 credit score. I mean, there, there's so many people who are drunk on OPM, other people's money. And that's other people's bullets. You got to have your own bullets, man. You got to have your own bunker. You got to have your own military supply lines. This is why ownership is so important. And right now we, we have so many people who are building castles on someone else's beach, AKA Amazon, AKA Facebook, where or AKA Instagram, or even YouTube at any point they can, snatch the rug from under you 
because you don't have your own mil you don't you don't have your own land you don't have your own crops you don't have your own money you have no cash so you are very very vulnerable in these war games you are super vulnerable you need some cash because <clears throat> right now the states are opening up unemployment is starting to tamp down we went from 6.6 .6 million people losing their jobs to 1.5 million which is still twice as high as it was during the, the 1982 recession twice as high and it's much faster. So in this economic war, I know you don't want to start a business. Glendon, I just want a job. I just want to be off on the weekends. I want to chill with Big Betty Booty, Big Booty Betty, Sexy Slim Susan. I just want to chill. I don't want to worry. I don't want to stress. I don't want to have this aggravation of managing a business and employees. I don't want to do it that Glendon, I just want to be free. America, I got a question for you. How can you be free when you're imprisoned by credit? See, I, I've heard that argument. I don't want to start a business. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do the work. I don't want to do that. But you are a prisoner of your credit score. You are a slave to your credit score. I have people I know who freak out if their credit score changes 10 points in the wrong direction, it's like, ah! See, once again, to understand the credit game, you gotta have a business. Why do you need a business? So you could go ahead and get yourself some business credit. So you could go ahead and use your business credit and not impact your personal credit. So your score remains sky high because you're barely using your credit cards, but no, you run the risk by not using those credit cards and getting shut off, even if you have excellent credit. These, this, is a, this, is, this is war, baby. This is economic war. And if you're not playing the game, you're gonna be a casualty of war. They coming for you. They gonna take your children. They gonna take Fido the dog. They gonna take your car. They gonna take your credit cards. They gonna take your house because you don't have any bullets. You have no bombs. So you want to start creating your own economy so you can begin to participate in this economic war. And you wanna win. Because if you only got one stream of income, you're screwed. I, I'm like, unless you are like, got some super safe job right now, Who's safe? Police officers? No, they're getting fired left and right. Teachers? No, they're getting laid off. Nurses? They're getting laid off. Doctors? They're getting laid off. Having one stream of income can be very, very dangerous to your economic health. And this is why you keep your job. Let me say this again. Never once have I said quit your job and go start a business. Keep your job. That's one stream of income then create a second stream of income while you keep your job and then you can begin to play in the war games. Because see, here's the thing. Many people feel because I'm not participating in the war games that the war games are not gonna touch you. All right, this pandemic, we have like 50 million people unemployed. These people were not participating, but they got touched, they got felt by the economic warfare. Cause see, the first round of layoffs were due to the pandemic. The second round of layoff, layoffs are due to corporate America saying, hey, we can do more with less. We don't need Jill, we don't need John, we don't need Billy, we don't need them. We can run this operation without them and their six figure salaries. And then, you know, they're out. They weren't participating but they still got impacted by the war game. So just because if you feel that, hey, I'm not gonna participate in just like these older chicks, well, I'm not participating with this 21 year old. Actually, you are, because the man that you're looking at is looking at you and he's looking at the 21 year old and he's doing some calculations. So you can go ahead and 
fool yourself that, hey, I ain't playing in this game. All right. All right. You'd be like this 50 year old cat lady who's like, I ain't playing in the game. I'm not playing. I'm not participating. But you'd be on the lonely train. You'd be riding the train to loneliness and despair with your non participating butt. See, just because you don't participate, it doesn't mean that you get off the hook. This economic war is impacting everyone. We have a global reset. We're having people who are being shifted down. Their standard of living is being shifted down. And this is going to be going on for a few years. And then the economy is going to magically rebound. But talk, you remember the girl with the snake, Alfredo the snake, and how her van life video blew up? This was before the pandemic. See, one of the things that I use to make my predictions is what happened before the pandemic. We had millions of people behind on their car payments. We had millions of people behind on their credit card payments. We had millions of people who are honestly looking at living in the van. This was before the pandemic. This is why things were not rosy and great, like many people will tell you. So these people who were late on their car payments, late on their credit cards, late on their mortgage, who were considering chucking it all, getting rid of their apartment and living in the van, Imagine what has happened to those people who with those considerations in those situations. Now, imagine what went down. Imagine what's happening. Imagine what these folks are going through. Understand the game is the game and you going to play it or the game is going to play you. All right. So for those of you who want to go ahead and move your cheese before someone else moves your cheese tomorrow, 7 PM. I'm going to have a webinar and I will be talking about how to retrain yourself, how to set yourself up for this new economy. And yes, you will need a business. Yes. You will need to start working on that while you keep your job links below. I'm giving you a little bit off. So go ahead and get this and I will see you tomorrow at 7 PM.